Hi, I'm Mark Lagorn, the training director for the Experience Group, and today I'm joined by Irina. Hi, how are you? Hi, Mark. I'm fine. Good. Thank you. How are you? I'm very warm because I put a heater on in my very cold room today. Oh, I think the wind has turned, uh, but anyway. Um, Irina, thanks for taking a little bit of time uh, with, with me. Um, I'm trying to get people to uh, get to know the woman behind the, cam uh, the camera um and the experienced photographers and everything else so it's kind of a quick chat and saying hi and things really uh, before we get going fully and just kind of getting some advice from you and ideas and things but can you tell us a little bit about you and tell us a little bit about the biz uh, the business and, and 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 kind of just give us a bit of an idea of what your speciality is so i'm marina i am photography behind the lens of i'm photo photography originally i'm from ukraine but have been living in the UK for the last 12 years. And I'm a dog, winning dog photographer and owner of I'm photo photography business. I started my professional dog photography journey in late 2017. And two years later in November 2019, I won the top dog photography of the year award. And last year, I won the Consumer Award in the Top Dog Location category. So, business is quite young, but way powerful. I think I'm proud. Very good. How how did you get into the kind of the speciality of being a dog photographer? Because it's not the most natural thing for anybody. What what kind of started off the dog uh, the dog photography for you? Uh, I was addicted to dogs since I can remember. I bought my first dog over 35 years ago, and it okay. was uh, Ralph Corley after seeing Lassie movie. At the same time, I bought my first film camera and started to learn photography to photograph uh, dogs at various dog shows and local championships. And then I just became involved in dog breeding and showing dogs, and since then my passion towards dog and photography has never left me. And I think I'm quite lucky to have been able to take uh, it into professional level now. Yeah, and a professional level it really is and things really. Uh, mm -hmm. Tell us where uh, you're based, remind us where you're based and where the best place is for people to go and have a look at your photography and how they go about kind of looking at making a book. And I know a lot of people travel to you uh, from quite a long way anyway, but where, uh, whereabouts is the business based? Uh, yeah, business based in the West End, Southampton. My website is imphoto.co.uk, so people can go there and get some information, what is involved, get some advice and book myself as well. And uh, I like to use the natural backgrounds and prop for my style of photography. I shoot, shoot on location, obviously. And we have a wonderful local park near us and with a variety of scenery, white opal areas, collapsed trees, stuck logs, bridges and shady woodlands. And I look at scenery around me differently to other people. They, they will see a log where I will see a prop and my customers just love that. And I can proudly say, how you mentioned, that people travel from a great distance to have their dogs photographed by I'm Photo Photography, and which makes me very proud. Very proud. Uh, I, I mean, I love your photography. Uh, I, I mean, I'm, I'm lucky to obviously we're involved with the Experience Awards and things yeah. and I get to see them and, and very well done. I mean, you uh, you deserve all the accolades that you get. I promise you the photographs are fantastic. OK, so let's say I've booked um, the, the dog in. Yeah, Ebony, I'm dragging her down for a shoot. What's the best bit of advice to be given to me before we kind of either leave, leave the house or preparing for the shoot itself? Obviously, you can have, uh, uh, you will find some information on my website. And before your, your session, you will receive a little booklet from me with all the advices. And the most common situation is when the owner of the dog gets nervous because they think their dog does not perform well. And as a specialist dog photographer, 
I work with all sorts of dogs, big and small, well-trained, untrained, puppies, nervous rescue dogs, and all this. And people, some people worry about if dogs stay on the lead. So always in my photography, I will show you how to manage your dog during the session, and I will get rid of the lead in post-production. So, and my biggest advice will be just come, relax, enjoy your experience and let professionals do their job. Excellent advice. Good, good, good. So if, if my dog needs to be on a lead because it likes yeah. to chase other dogs, I can chill out. You're, yeah. you're going to be able yeah, to take absolutely. it out of post-production. Yeah. Brilliant. What kind of makes you special compared to other photographers? As I say, as I dedicated spe specialist dog photographer with years of experience, like showing and breeding dogs and photograph them. And I have a unique and recognizable style. And I shoot on location, and not many dog uh, photographers offer session on locations. Now they prefer shooting in, um, in studios. Yep. And I use both natural and studio style lighting to give my customers the best quality and creativity available for me. Brilliant. Do you think that you mentioned about being a dog breeder years ago? Do you think the kind of the knowing the dog and, and kind of all their characteristics, do you think that is a big part as well about what makes you good? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because you know how dogs think. Yeah? And yeah. you can predict and give owner advice. So, because every dog is different, every experience is different, but being experienced like dog show and groomer and trainer, so I, keep it, I think it's a big advantage. Uh, now, you're looking very glam glamorous there today, but I'm sure being a dog photographer is not a glamorous yeah, kind no. of... Um, warm days and dry summer days and everything else you must be rolling around in the ground all the time yeah uh, on the belly yeah all right yeah. and obviously we shoot in the sun under sunshine and under heavy rain yeah brilliant but remind us um where people can go and see your work and basically how they can look at booking a you for a shoot okay the main thing they can go on our website it's iamphoto.co.uk and we are on the Facebook and Instagram. So Facebook, it will be facebook.com slash I'm photophotography. And same on the Instagram, instagram.com slash I'm photophotography. Brilliant. Irina, thank you so, so much. Remember, we got the awards uh, next uh, in the next few weeks and things, really. So I'm expecting to see lots of your images going in there. Congrat uh, congratulations. Congratulations on the consumer for this year and things ready. And we'll catch up in the next few weeks. Take yeah. care, Arena. Thanks Bye. again. Bye. -bye.